All right, so I got a new trim piece. It goes behind the window here. Uh, there's the, what the original is supposed to look like. And then here's what the one I got looks like. But this one goes on my driver's side, which happens to be missing. Sheared off here. That's where the clip, little clip goes there in the middle. And then sheared off at the bottom there. See, it's like broken with chunks. So I need to pick off the panel from the back side, undo the screws, and then put the new one on, which I'll hatch. It has the hardware for it, so that's good. And get her swapped out. All right, so I took off that piece of there, which, I got, which is just a little clip. So this little piece here. <clears throat> and that's held on by this little screw here. Um, and then I gotta take off the seat belt portion here. Uh, this part just, it's like a little screwdriver under there, like flathead, and pop this up. Then it'll expose this uh, 14 millimeter um, socket you can put on there, which I have there. And um, they'll take this off, remove that. And I should be able to take this little tab off next. This thing will focus. There we go. And this whole panel here should hopefully come off to where I can get behind here and then take the screws off that are still on there holding the little clips on the back side where that trim would sit and uh, get those out. And then place the new right hand uh, trim piece behind the window back in place. So. Let's go ahead and continue and press on. All right, so I got that little uh, tab off and there's like a little screw in there. So I just take that off and then that should be everything holding this panel into place. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a piece down there in the back that's holding it in, but that might be for the uh, speaker cover there. So hopefully um, this will be it and then I can get this first of this panel off here. All right, so if I guess if you wanna remove the whole panel there, um, there's also another little screw in the back here by the speaker. There's like a little tab that holds the back portion together. And then again, just a, another Phillips head there, and then that should slide out. And also that one comes off as a well for your back seat, seat belt track. So that's just clips up over here, just a little tab here, or this whole clip here, you just push it up, and that's will expose the other. 14 millimeter there, and hopefully after that, that should be the last thing I need to pull this trim off. So everything else seems to be exposed now. All right, so I have a 5 16 here, but I need a deep socket just because of the how long that piece is there. So it needs to go all the way down to the bottom where this regular 5 16 won't. Get on there, we'll get caught. Especially, here it looks like it goes in, that's fine, but on the car side though, it won't go more down to like there. I really don't have a whole lot of room to play with it, so uh, I'm gonna go grab a heat socket and then keep pressing on there. All right, for the top one, it was a 10 millimeter um, deep socket on the back side. Um, that one came out eh, not too bad. So that's some of the plastic originally from the uh, trim there. And this one's still in pretty good shape. Um, the other one, though, I took off in the bottom. Um, it's a little different size. That one was a 5 16 on the bottom there. It's kind of wedged back in there. Yeah, right there. But that one ended up snapping at the top there. Um, pretty much disintegrated into multiple pieces. Um, see, so you can see here snapped off but i got the whole piece out which is fine uh pretty rusty on the back side there which is fine because the new piece i got has all the hardware and it's just a matter of putting them back in um so i'm guessing one of them's 10 the other one's 5 16 for some reason that's just the way they did it um so it's just a matter of just doing the reverse and getting everything else set back up and in the place and tightened down and then i'll put all the rest of the trim pieces back on for you all right, I got the new one in place. So I had to slightly modify the top portion up here because um, I guess this is from like an, off a different model. This is 
a GA70. I'm pretty sure this is probably off an MA70, so I'm not sure if these were slightly different. Um, but I had to like cut away some of the plastic on the inside in order it to kind of run sort of flush with the rest of the trim here. Um, but I got it all in place there. I just got to tighten her down, and that should be it. Because compared to the X, there's a little bit bigger of a gap up top too. But it's not much uh, compared to the other side. This will be the passenger side since this is a GA70. Um, but it's got a little bit more flusher at the top, but still kind of a gap there on the way down. But you really can't really see much of a difference. There's, there's the side here. And then we'll go to the other side to compare, which unless you like know that it's been swapped out, you probably wouldn't even know. So there's the other side. All right, so everything's on there now. I put the two uh, bolts or excuse me, nuts back on top and the bottom. And it's on there secure, nice and firm, top and bottom. And there you go. Alrighty, both all in there hand tight. I wanna over tighten it, break the bolts cause they're not you know, that strong. But uh, now I just gotta put all the trim pieces back up there and the seat belt. Um, retainers and all that stuff and that'll be it and put all the trim pieces back on and this job is done be finished no it didn't take too long um as long as you have all the tools and stuff and ready to go the biggest piece pain in the ass is just trying to move this piece out of the way i didn't remove the whole thing just kind of move this as much as i can upward because there's a little tab here that kind of sticks in the way so i just kind of slam the uh socket in at the deep well uh, to get in there tighten her down push her in and then the top one was a little bit easier to get to um, push this out of the way and then no extension just kind of threw it on there with the the deep well and then get it into place